Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Anert and today I'm going to show you how to make nice masala chickpeas. But before we get started, if anyone out there is new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notified the next time I upload a new video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Now firstly, these are half kg of chickpeas which I have soaked overnight or you can soak them for approx 12 hours. I will now add these all into the pressure cooker. Now I have added the chickpeas into the pressure cooker. Add sufficient water into it so that the chickpeas are totally dipped in the water. So after adding sufficient water, we are going to add a, a teaspoon of salt into it. Cover the cooker, keep it on the gas stove and allow at least 5 pieces to be done. So my 5 pieces are done. As you guys can see, my chickpeas are ready. Keep a pan on the gas stove. Add approx 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. Add a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Saute this well into the oil. Now we will add medium sized onion paste. Saute this well into the oil till it changes its color. Now it's time for us to add the masalas. So while adding the masalas, please make sure you keep the gas on a low flame so that our masalas don't get burnt. Now into this I am adding half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon haldi powder, half a teaspoon of pepper powder. Mix all of them well. Now to make our masalas nice and thick, we are going to prepare a paste. Now to make the paste, I am going to add one small potato boiled and half a cup of chickpeas. Add little water and grind this into a smooth paste. Our paste is ready. Time for us to add the paste. You can add little water to remove the excess paste which is stuck for the jar. Mix it well. So that it is nicely mixed into the masalas. Add a small cinnamon stick into it and keep stirring it for at least 2 to 3 minutes. See that you cook it on a medium flame so that the masalas don't get stuck onto the water. Now into this we are going to add half a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of jeera powder. Mix them well. If you want, you can add little water at this moment. Now into this, we are going to add a teaspoon of garam masala. Now mix it well so that the masala is nicely mixed into the paste. Now I will add in one Maggi chicken cube. In place of this, you can also add chicken powder if you have. Mix these well. Now it's time for us to add in our chickpeas. Now mix them well. If you want, you can add in more water. I will now add into it 2 tablespoons of curd. Mix it well. Now we will wait till the oil gets separated. And then we are going to add water into it. Now as you guys can see, the oil has separated. Now it's time for us to add in the water. So we are going to add the same water which we had kept from the chickpeas. Add the amount of water that is needed. So this I have added approx 2 to 3 cups. Cover the lid and allow it to cook. As you can see, it has been boiling for approx 10 minutes now. So the gravy is nice and thick. So at this point of time, we are going to check for taste and add salt as per requirement. So I am adding half a teaspoon of salt. Mix it well. And at the end, we are going to garnish it with chopped coriander. And our chickpeas are ready. So our nice restaurant style chickpeas, masala chickpeas are ready. 
I hope you all enjoyed watching the recipe. If you did like, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also do not forget to share it with your friends and family. Till then I want to catch you guys next Sunday with yet another recipe of mine. Till then stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors. Bye-bye.